In this video, we're going to continue our tutorial series on reading chord symbols. And in this one, we're going to talk about advanced chord symbols, those extensions that go beyond sevenths, specifically ninths, elevenths, and thirteenths, and where they come from and how to play them on the piano. Now, in our first video in the series, we learned how to read triad chord symbols, F, G, A, B, C minor, those types of things. And then we added sevens to that in the next video. And this is where we ended off. If you look at the music, we've got an F major seventh chord right up to an E half diminished seventh chord or E minor seven flat five chord. Now that's right from the scale of F. If you played these chords from that scale, it's like this. And of course, the seventh, whether it's a dominant seventh, in other words, like a natural seventh or a dominant seventh, it's denoted by a seven with a circle around it, which is the major seventh, and then just a regular seventh is a minor seventh. So that's where we ended off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take those chords and we're going to build on those chords in thirds. So let's take the first chord, which is our F major seventh chord, and let's keep going up in thirds. So when we get that, we get this, which is essentially a G minor chord on top of a F major seventh chord. Now that doesn't sound good. And the reason why that is is because the B flat creates a flat nine with the third of the chord, which is a very harsh symbol. So that note is actually not available, but the other two are. Okay, those two notes, this one is the 13th and this one is the ninth. And the reason why that is, is because it's nine intervals from the root. That's the nine, and this is the 13. So if you count up, so one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 13. That's 13 notes. And that's why we get those extension notes, nine and 13, and that's denoted as an F major seven, and sometimes they put this in brackets like this, nine and 13. Now, can you have a flat nine and a flat 13 on that chord? Yes, but not usually. In any case, whether it's flat nine or flat 13, those notes are denoted by numbers that come after the seventh and they're usually surrounded by parentheses. Let's move on to the G minor seventh chord. So you have, let's start down here because we're getting pretty high. So G minor seven is this chord, and then you have an A triad on top, which is an A minor triad. Now, one of those notes is not available, this note here, but the ninth and the 11th are. So let's take out the 13th, and this is the 11th, and this is the ninth. So that chord is denoted by G minor seventh with a nine and 11. So the nine goes on top of the 11 when you're writing the chord symbol, okay? Now, there's an alternative to that. You can simply write G minor 9 11. It means the same thing. And a lot of piano players, even if you just write G minor 9, they'll consider the 11th is available as well. But essentially, if you want in an arrangement for the piano player to play the 9 and the 11th, you have to write it in the chord. And next, we have the A minor seventh chord. So let's go and write that. And then if you keep going up in thirds, we get B flat, D, and F. So you got the A minor chord. And in this case, the nine is a flat nine, so it's not available. The 11th is available. And the 13th is not available because it's another flat nine. So in that chord, that note's not available, and that note, note is not available, only the 11th. So we would denote that as an A minor seven with an 11th. Let's move on to B flat major seven. And like the first chord, F major seven, you've got this nine, 11, 13 on top. So it's B flat major seven. So the good news here is that all of those notes are available, the 9, the 11th, and 13th, because it's actually a sharp 11. Because this, the B flat to the E, is a sharp 11. A regular 11 would be E flat, but that's not part of the key. 
And if it were that, it would create a flat nine, just like in the first chord. That's why the 11th is not available in the first one, but this is available. So this is a B flat, major seventh chord, nine, sharp 11, and 13. Now, typically that would be denoted solely as a B flat major seventh chord, sharp 11, or plus 11 sometimes they write. You can either write the sharp symbol or the plus symbol. It's up to you. You see both. Okay? Very cool chord. Used a lot in jazz because it has that sort of full sound and all of the notes are available. So that's one of those chords where every single note in the scale is available. Okay, then we're moving on to the C7 chord. So what we have is a D minor chord over C7. And the only note that's not available is the 11th because, again, it creates a flat nine with the third of the chord. So that chord is a C7, 9, 13. That's the dominant seventh chord that resolves to the major seventh chord. Okay, then we have D minor seven. We're getting to the end now. So what we have here is an E minor chord over a D minor chord. And the note that's not available, again, for the minor chord is the 13th. So the 13th is not available, but the 11th and the 9th are. The reason why the 13th is not available is because it creates a tritone with a third of the chord. And so it's very harsh. It's not supposed to be there. So we have a D minor 11th chord, just like we have over here. But again, some people, if you want them to play the whole thing, it's D minor 7th with a 9 and an 11, like that. So either one of those is acceptable. And then finally, an E minor 7 flat 5 chord. And if you built it up in thirds, you've got F, A, and C. So the F's not available because it creates a flat 9. The 11th is available. And the 13th is available. So the 9th is not available, but the 11th and 13th are. So this is an E half diminished seventh chord with an 11 and 13. But that's extremely rare to see that. Typically what you'll only ever see is it denoted like an E half diminished seventh chord or E minor seven flat five or E minor seven flat five. And that's how to read chord symbols that are advanced. Now, in some cases, what you'll find is it, just like the sharp 11, that's an alteration to the chord. So a lot of times for C7 chord, you'll see a flat nine like this. C7 flat nine, sounds like this. And the reason why we need to put flat nine is because if it were a natural nine, you wouldn't need the flat. But the flat sounds pretty cool with a C7 chord, and it usually goes to minor. Okay, and that's how to read, again, advanced chord symbols with these upper structure extensions. And if you have any questions about this, you can certainly ask them in the comments below, and that will conclude our reading of chord symbols. Now, of course, we haven't gone through every single chord symbol, but you get the formula. Let's go through it one more time, just to be sure. In any chord symbol, the first thing you'll see is the root of the chord. That's the letter that comes first. Then you'll see either a major or minor. With major, you'll see nothing. With a minor, you'll see a minor symbol or minor like this. And sometimes you'll see them write it like this. Okay, let's go with major. So, and then you'll see a seventh. If it's a major seven, you'll see it with a circle. If it's a minor seventh, you'll see it with a seven. And we're talking about intervals now. So F7, and then you'll see numbers next. Flat nine, flat 13, or any combination of nine, 11, and 13 with either flat, sharp, flat, whatever. If it's not in the key, 
you have to write it like that. Okay, so that's how to read chord symbols. I hope that was helpful to you. Again, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'm going to finish off this video by applying these chord symbols to the tune Old Christmas Tree, which we're kind of in the middle of. And then in our next video, we're going to discuss how to apply specific chord symbols to O Christmas Tree because we've now learned how to read them. How do you actually apply them to the voicings that you're using on the piano? And that's what we're going to do next. Let me finish off by playing O Christmas Tree. Thanks for your time.